Michigan, a man who prosecutors say stole trade secrets from General Electric to benefit China, being sentenced today. The judge giving the former engineer two years behind bars, but he will remain free during his appeals process. News 10 ABC's Juliana Bruno was in court today and has the details. Zhao Ching Zheng faced the possibility of several years behind bars after a jury found him guilty of conspiracy to benefit China with GE's intellectual property, transferring files to his business partner in China. It was revealed during trial the pair had plans to advance their own business interests in two Chinese companies that manufacture parts for turbines. Using proprietary information Zheng got while working for GE. His lawyer, Kevin Luebrand, said the judge's sentence of just two years pending appeal is as good as it was going to get. We'll be pursuing the appeal. It's a very vibrant appeal, as the judge even acknowledged that these are new issues. So we'll see how the appeal goes. Judge May Diagostino deeply questioned federal prosecutors and Zheng's lawyers before making her sentencing decision. The defense at one point asserted Zheng's goal was not to hurt GE, while the prosecution said the calculated loss of Zheng's actions were upwards of $1.5 million. The judge saying the court believes there was a loss to GE but can't fully compute it. The conspiracy didn't come to full fruition, but she said, quote, I do not think he was intending to benefit GE. Zheng was joined in court by his wife, three children, and his pastor. When asked if he wanted to address the court, Zheng said in part, I have more gratitude than any negative feeling, adding that the ordeal has brought his family together and he's sorry for the pain he caused them. He's got a whole different life plan ahead for himself that he's decided, which is really to just try to do as much good as he can. Judge D'Agostino said her decision incorporated the seriousness of the crime with Zheng's humility in court and lack of criminal history. She does not believe he will commit any other crimes. In addition to the sentence pending appeal, Zheng was ordered a $7,500 fine. In Albany, Juliana Bruno, News 10, ABC.